Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video with the uh, with the little Mini Cooper. For those that, uh, that saw the video where I did a bit of a refurb on the rear calipers, you'll have seen that I had to cut through the, the, the handbrake cables in order to free them from the caliper because they were absolutely sea solid. So here's the end of the cable, obviously that's the cut end. So what we need to do is obviously replace those uh, with new ones. Now here are the new cables, um, both left and right, they are handed, so you need to get them the right way around. Um, and yeah, what we need to do is obviously remove what's remaining of the uh, the old cables and uh, and get these new ones fitted. So um, obviously, if you uh, if you hadn't cut through your uh, through your handbrake cables, you would obviously have to remove the slack uh, from the cables inside the car, which is what we actually did um, at the beginning of the video where I refurbished these cables because at that point we didn't know that I was going to need to cut them. Um, so obviously. Uh, what we do need to do is remove this part of the cable from underneath the car. Now, the manual says that the exhaust needs to be removed. Um, what we'll do, we'll get underneath the car in a moment and I will show you that you don't actually need to remove the exhaust. All you need to do is um, unfix the exhaust heat shield and drop it down and that gives you enough access to get into the cables. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that in a moment. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah let's, let's get stuck into it. Okay, so here we are underneath the car. Now, as you can see, what, what I've done is I've loosened off this heat shield. I haven't actually removed the exhaust, and all I've done is I've loosened the heat shield and dropped it down so it rests on the exhaust. And as you can see, we can see the handbrake cables, and up there, we can see where they actually go into the car. So, there's a few little clips just here which need popping off, um, so that's fairly easy. Now, the manual does say drop the exhaust, um, and then it tells you to take this heat shield completely out. Um, but that's a fair amount of work when all you really need to do is just drop the heat shield down just to give you access in. So there's plenty of access in there to get those um, both those handbrake cables out of the clips here uh, and here. As you can see, I've already popped that one out. Um, so yeah, I'll get on with that, pop those out, and then where they go into the car up there, um, what we need to do is we need to release the cables uh, from the inside of the car, but we'll uh, we'll have to go inside the car obviously to do that. So um, we'll do that in a moment. Um, now that I've got those um, released from the clips, what I can do now is um, release these brackets here. Um, just a 10 mil bolt hole in the bracket onto the chassis, uh, just there. Um, and uh, yeah, then we should be able to pull the cables. Um, free from the car and then get the new ones in and yeah as i said we've got plenty of room there you don't need to drop the exhaust despite what the uh despite what the manual um tells otherwise so yeah i need to undo that 10 mil bolt just pull the uh both the cables out of those clips and then we'll get inside the car and uh get these cables pulled out Okay, to get at the interior ends of the cables, what we need to do is we need to remove all of this stuff here. And we'll start with the handbrake um, gator. This little cap pops off. There should be two little tabs on this one. This particular one happens to be broken. These should be two little uh, retaining clips on there. Um, and then it should just pop off um, fairly easily. Um, then once you've done that, there's you can see these little retainers here that bend up. And then once you've done that, you can actually slide this off and you can see here on this little frame we've got all these little clips they all just pop out and then that's the uh, that is the handbrake removed it's dead dead simple okay now what we need to do is we need to remove this um plastic trim and in order to do so there's a screw here we'll take that one out one and then just here that is the bottom of the cup holder. Just pop that out and you can see another screw underneath, just here. So that is the screws removed. And now 
all that's holding it in place is some like retaining clips, which you need to overcome. So we'll just give it a little, give it a little tug and she should pop off. There we go, just like so. Seems a bit brutal, but they do pop off. And for the tire pressure reset switch, just disconnect the cable. And there we are, that is that removed. Now, what we need to do next is just remove this bracket and then we should be able to see the back of the cables. Right, this little bracket's got to come off and this covers the back of the cables. And as you can see in there, one, two, three, four nuts, uh, and then that is that off. So what I'll do, I'll get those four nuts off, get this bracket off, and then I'll bring it back and we'll look at the cables. Okay, there you go, there's that bracket removed, just those four nuts, as I said. And the only other thing you're gonna do is this little cable, it just pops into that hole, you just gotta push it out. It'll, it'll pull out with a little bit of force um, without breaking it. Uh, you can disconnect it if you need to, but it's not necessary because it just slides out. Anyway, um, I'm waffling on. What we need to do now is obviously look at the cable. So now we've removed that, if we pull these pieces of carpet out of the way, here it is, the ends of the cables. Now, as you can see, there's loads of slack on this. I can actually, as much slack on it as I want to and the end of the actual handbrake cables themselves simply come out just like that and yeah there you go that's that's all there is to it now to get these out of the car they're actually retained in place by some like spring clips now I'm not gonna be able to show you on the actual on the actual ones in the car so what I'll do I'll show you on the uh, I'll show you on the brand new ones if I pop this bag open and show you the end. Here, you can see this little spring affair. Obviously this seal is a weather seal because this cable goes to the outside of the car and you don't want water getting in through here. But as you can see there, this basically is quite, it's quite strong, but that is what retains the end of the, ho uh, the, end of the cable in the bodywork of the car. So once it's pulled through, this springs open again and retains it. So what you need to do is obviously you need to, um, you need to uh, compress this in order to get the cable out. Now, uh, on um, on these ones, it, it, I could be destructive with these. I could actually just break them off if I wanted to because these are getting thrown in the bin. Um, but obviously, if you want to retain the cables that you're um, removing from the car for any reason whatsoever, and you don't, you're not actually replacing them, you just need to remove them for any reason. What you can do is um, with fit a, a deep 12 mil socket over the top of that, or a piece of. I suppose you could use a piece of strong hose. Um, as long as the, interior, uh, the internal diameter is about 12 millimeters, fit it over the top and then it will compress these and then you'll be able to withdraw it from the car. Dead, dead simple. Um, but yeah, like I said, I can actually be destructive and actually just break them off um, on, on, in this instance. Um, but yeah, once these are in, um, yeah, that'll, uh, that'll spring open and retain them in uh, into the bodywork of the car. So yeah, that's, um, I think that's probably the best way to uh, explain to you how um, how they are held in position uh, because I'm not going to be able to show you down here because it just isn't the room and there's a lot of stuff in the way. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go um, set about getting these clips, um, you know, and get the ends of the cables out uh, and then what we can do is get back underneath the car and pull the cables through. Um, I've undone all those clips and the uh, the 10 mil bolt that I mentioned um, earlier on, so there's nothing hel holding these the old cables into the car now other than that that is literally all that's holding these cables to the car so yeah i'll get on with that and then uh, i'll bring it back and we'll look at getting the new ones fitted okay so there we are that is the cable on this side removed and there you can see the uh little spring, uh, the spring device that I was talking about, uh, and the seal. Um, I used the socket over the end. Um, I did say 12. I actually found that 11 was a, a much tighter fit, and um, then I was able to go underneath the car and just give, the, give this outer a good yank, and it all came out uh, for both sides. So yeah, that was, uh, it was, it was pretty straightforward. It wasn't too difficult at all, really. Uh, if obviously you do find it's a little bit stuck, because, you know, they've been in there a little while, um, just get like a pry bar or something, just give it a lever, just a pop it out but yeah that was um that's that one out uh obviously i've just got to get the other one out the other side um but what we can do now is uh, we can set about 
fitting the new cable. So, as I said before, they are handed, so make sure you get them the right way round, otherwise you'll find that your bracket doesn't fit correctly. Um, and then what we need to do is obviously we need to feed it back along where the old one came from, just like so. And then we can just leave that there. Now I need to get under the car, obviously feed it back up um, above the heat shield, uh, and then poke the end up back into the hole so that it um, comes out inside the car. I need to do that for both sides. So I'll get underneath and do that, and then um, I'll bring you back once we're uh, once we're at the front, uh, and then we can get everything connected up um, uh, prior to um, getting this end fit to the calipers, and then adjusting everything to make sure everything's working correctly. Okay, so the uh, the cables are all installed to the chassis. Um, they're poking out into the inside of the cabin. We'll go up there in a moment and have a look at what we're going to do up there. Um, the, 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 the outer is all pushed into its clips. The, uh, the little bracket over at the back there is all bolted up to the chassis, as you can see. And all we need to do at this end now is connect this end of the, uh, this end of the cable onto the caliper. Um, there's a flat here and there's a flat on the inside just here. So obviously it goes in kind of like that in that orientation. And all we need to do is push it up inside and then simply wiggle it into place until it fits and there we are just just like that that's as simple as it is now because we've got all this slack in the cable we can just hook that over and push it back down make sure that this little boot is seated where, where it needs to be but there you go that is that is it now um all I need to do is obviously the one on the other side and then we can move to the inside of the cabin and get everything connected up and adjusted so that the handbrake works properly. Okay, so here we are now inside the car and here's the ends of the, uh, the two new cables. So what we need to do is connect them up to this. If we lower that down, simply a case of getting the, the ball end in and then swapping it round to the other side. And there we go, let's last both of them in. And you can see we're now operating the cable. So what we need to do is adjust this to take all the slack out of it um, before we can before we can adjust it any further. So all I'm going to do is just adjust it, tighten it down till all of this all of this slack is gone in the cables. Um, we don't want it to actually act on the cables because if it starts to pull these then it will start acting on the rear it will start to act on the rear discs and we don't want that yet all we want to do is just remove the slack and you can see this is going to eventually pull up to you can see where it, this, this here is going to pull up to there so i'm just going to keep going until it gets to that point Pretty good, I think. Give it a couple of pumps. Just like so. Right, now, that is completely off. What I want to do now is quickly go down the wheels, just make sure that um, I can rotate them uh, and that the, the pads aren't actually being forced onto the disc by the handbrake cables. Okay, so there we go. We can see that they're still, they're still turning. But there's no slack in that cable it's nice and it's nice and taut so now what we need to do is obviously we need to adjust it so that when we pull the handle it actually does cr clamp onto the disc so we'll go back inside the car now and start that process okay so like i said before all the slack is out the cables and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pull the handbrake up two clicks one two now back down to the wheels i just want to see if the pads have started to just press against the disc Okay, so I'm starting to feel ever such a slight bit of resistance now. So that means that we've taken all the, the adjust, we've adjusted it pretty much perfectly already. That feels pretty good. So that was only two clicks. So if we release it, if I take it completely off, this spins freely. Two clicks and it's starting to bite. But what we need to do is we need to make sure that we can go a maximum of six clicks and it's fully engaged. As long as it physically won't turn up to six clicks, 
then we're good. But obviously we need to check that on both sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and pull the handbrake cable on, give it um, another four clicks and just make sure that this stays, um, you, you stay still and it can't be turned. Right, I've gone up to five and that is solid. I didn't even have to go to six. Absolutely solid, I cannot move that whatsoever. Now it's off. Perfect. So I'm happy that that is adjusted, as, um, you know, to the to the degree that it needs to be. Um, obviously, I do need to check the other side, but um, I'll go and do that in a second. Uh, but yeah, so far, so good. Okay, so I've checked this side, and it's exactly the same as the other side. It works perfectly. Five clicks, and it's absolutely solid. Two clicks, and it's just starting to just starting to bite. But when it's off, it's absolutely free spinning. Absolutely 100% happy with that, and it's a pretty straightforward job. The actual cables themselves cost, I think it was around about 24, 25 pounds. Well, I'll do. I'll leave a link to those in the uh, in the description, so you can go check them out. Not a particularly difficult job, just a little bit messy because you have to get under the car and you're working around the exhaust, which just like to drop flakes off in your face, which is um, never pleasant. Um, so yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, all I've got to do is um, get up in the car, put all the centre console back in how it was um, before. But uh, I'm not going to bore you with that because it's literally the reverse of uh, reverse of removal. So yeah, job done. Happy days. Uh, I am happy with the handbrake. I'm happy with the brake calipers, and obviously I'm happy with the uh, the rear trailing arm upgrade that we did. Um, the discs and the pads will be getting changed. I'm going to do that in a different video. I've got fronts and rears uh, as it goes, and also the uh, the wear sensor uh, to, to to fit as well. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, join us on the socials. Links in the description, and I will see you all again for the very next video. Take care. Bye bye now.